If you're sick of getting less views than Pornhub's terms and conditions page, I use four steps to grow this channel from literally zero to nearly 5,000 subs with just one video. And I wanna help you use this four step formula for your channel because it also helped me get this video to over 150,000 views. Also on a channel that literally had zero subscribers, took this video to 1.2 million views, got this video over a million views in just 27 days. And I have loads more examples like this in different niches, many on channels with zero subscribers. So let's walk through this formula step by step so you can start getting more views. First thing, we need to fix the mistake that's keeping your view count lower than my self-esteem after an Instagram doom scroll. And to do that, we need to go back to August 2015. So I start my very first YouTube channel, work for an entire year, posting 65 different videos to get a whopping 150 subscribers. Then I remember one day I was sitting at the dinner table and my uh, health conscious mum, shall we say, was serving up her latest monstrosity, zucchini spaghetti. Now you're thinking, Marcus, what the hell does zucchini spaghetti have to do with getting more views on YouTube? Well, I'll tell you. See now, my younger brother, Luca, absolutely despised zucchini. And so this dish wasn't exactly a hit with it, but mum didn't care. She liked zucchini, it was healthy, and she decided she was gonna make Luca like it too. And mum tried everything, different spices, strand thicknesses, sauces, temperatures, but no matter what she did, Luca's plate remained untouched. And I remember sitting there just thinking, mum, Luca clearly does not like zucchini spaghetti. Instead of trying to make this dish 26 different ways, why don't you just make a completely different dish that doesn't involve zucchini, but that's also healthy. So it's a win-win. But what I didn't realize is I was doing the exact same thing on my YouTube channel and it was stopping me from getting views. See, when I started YouTube, I had ideas for videos that I wanted to make. Metaphorically, these ideas were my zucchini spaghetti. And when these ideas got seven views each, like my mum, I tried to find the secret sauce, the magic thumbnail, the title, the setting, the editing trick, the killer keyword, whatever, that would make my videos go viral. And I was so deep into this rabbit hole, I didn't realize that I was just polishing a turd. So if I just ditched my zucchini spaghetti-esque video ideas and instead created videos around ideas that were proven to go viral, but that also were fun to make, I would have blown up my channel in weeks. And when I started doing that, I went from getting 15 subs a month to over 1,500 subs a month in the course of six weeks. So Marcus, what makes for these proven video ideas you speak of, I hear you ask? Great question. That brings us to the first step in our method. For example, take a look at this video. 2.3 million views posted 10 months ago on a channel that only had 85,000 subscribers. Now this video idea has some very specific attributes that make it a proven viral idea. And in a sec, I'll go over what those attributes are. But quickly now, check out this video. NBA players caught cheating. 2.3 million views posted nine months ago on a channel with 600K subs. But now look at this video. Five months ago, 4.1 million views on a channel with 27,000 subs. And remember, this is how many subs this channel has after blowing up a video to 4.1 million views. Chances are they had a few hundred, if that, when they first posted this video. Now, if you go watch all these different videos I've listed, you'll find that the content is very different. But because they're all packaged around this viral video idea, they all get a ton of views relative to their channel size. So I want to show you the best method I've found to uncover these proven viral ideas for your niche and what specific attributes you need to look for so you know your video has the best chance possible of going viral. But quickly, if the thought of modeling proven ideas sounds unethical to you, take a look at this super unique video from Mr. Beast. Oh wait, no, actually he, he copied this video. This was actually done two years ago with almost the exact same thumbnail and title. Well, how about Eric, the epitome of originality and not faking video? Oh, oh wait, no, never mind. This video was done four years ago. Or how about Ryan Trahan, probably the least hated and most original creator on the, oh, oh, no, wait, he copied this video from this one posted two years ago. And look, I'm not bashing these guys. I've done this exact same thing. I'm just trying to illustrate here that even though this tactic isn't sexy to talk about, all the big creators are doing this. And if you're not doing this, it's probably why you're not getting views. So here's how to identify viral ideas for your niche. First, you wanna to go to this website, velio.co. I'll leave a link below, but Velio is a tool I've been building since September last year that helps you find viral video ideas for your niche. Now, because custom building software is freaking expensive, Velio does cost 25 bucks to use, but don't leave the video just yet because later I'm gonna show you how to apply the exact same process I'm about to reveal, but do it completely for free. It's just gonna take you more time to do. So first things first, if you log into Velio, you're gonna land on a screen like this. And what you're gonna do is come to this search bar and type in a very general umbrella term related to your niche. So for me on this channel you're watching right now, I do YouTube education videos. So I could type like YouTube, education, or I could just type in something like get more views since that's something everyone in my niche wants to do and hit enter. And Velio will return video ideas that have viral attributes you can copy. Now we're gonna refine our search way more and get much better ideas than this. But whatever your niche is, you're doing Minecraft bed wars, your keyword would be Minecraft. If you're showing people how to create Shopify stores, your keyword could be make money online or online business. And you can try multiple different keywords to see which ones get you the best results. But let me walk you through live right now how to actually find a viral video idea. So for this example, let's just imagine that I am a cooking 
cooking enthusiast. So for a channel like that, the term I might enter would be like cooking or food. So let's just try cooking. Now already it's going to start showing me some pretty interesting video ideas. But me personally, I have some specific attributes that I look for in viral ideas. And to find those, what I'm going to do is come up to this filters button. And these are the settings I'm going to do. So the first thing is I'm going to come to the multiplier score here. And I'm going to bring that to 2.5. So what this does is shows us videos that stand out from the crowd. So for example, let's say that a channel posts 10 videos and all 10 of those videos get 100,000 views. Now let's imagine it posts an 11th video and that 11th video gets 250,000 views. That 11th video is 2.5x what that channel's average or median value is. And we want to find outlier videos like that, which is why we use this filter. Now, the next thing we're going to do is come down to advanced filters here, and we're going to go to the view sub ratio. What this does, if I put this to five, Velio is only going to show me video ideas that have gotten five times as many views as that channel's subscriber count. So let's say a channel has 10,000 subs, posts a video that gets 50k views, that would meet this criteria because 50k is five times more than the 10,000 subs that channel has. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to come up to views here. I'm just going to put 25K in. And the next thing is search precision here. Now, if we set this to specific, Velio is only going to show us videos that have the term we entered in search in their title. If we set it to broad, it's going to use AI and just show us videos that it thinks are somewhat related to the search term we entered. And if we go balanced, it's going to be a mix of these two. So I'm going to use balanced in this case, and we'll see what we get. Now that we've set our filters, we're just going to come down to last 365 days because sometimes videos that worked really well, say five years ago, might not work well now in this day and age. So once we've done that, we're going to scroll down, hit apply and Velio is going to load up videos that meet our criteria. Now I've got a ton of video ideas here, but if for some reason your niche is like smaller and you've been experimenting with different keywords or umbrella terms and you just can't get more videos in here, what I would do first is come here into your filters again and change it from last 365 days to all time and hit apply because older videos still can work really well. It's just, I personally like to give priority to newer videos because I think they have a higher chance of doing well. So what I'm going to do now is scroll through this list of videos that Velio has returned and try to identify ideas that I'm might be able to create for my channel. So again, in this case, we're going to pretend that I'm looking for video ideas for a cooking channel. And already, if we look at the videos Velio's found for us, we can see some interesting signals. So have a look at this video, right? I got this casserole recipe from my friend in France. My family asks me to cook it every day. More importantly, this channel only has 12,000 subscribers and yet the video got 620,000 views, even though it was only posted one month ago. And that's even crazier when you factor in that this channel probably didn't even have this many subs when the video was posted. Most of these subs probably came from all the views this video got. So how does this help us? Well, we can take this proven formula and mold it into a video that we could create on our channel. Now, usually we don't want to copy this exactly, but we could do something like, I got this spaghetti recipe from my friend in Italy. My family asked me to cook it every single day. Then have a thumbnail kind of like this one, but with spaghetti. And here you can just swap out spaghetti and Italy for whatever variables fit your channel the best. So like hamburger from my friend in Germany, pad Thai recipe from my friend in Thailand. You get the idea. And when we do that, this video is going to be so much more likely to go viral because it's modeling a proven formula. Now, obviously, there's a lot more to blowing up on YouTube than just modeling a proven idea. But to be able to move on to some of the more advanced stuff, we first need to create a collection of proven video ideas for our niche. So what we're going to do is save it so we can remember it later. So we're going to click on this save option. I'm going to go manage folders and I'm going to create a new folder. Let's call it Marcus's cooking channel. And now what I'm going to do is come down. I'm going to select to save this video to that folder. And over here, we've got tags. Now tags help us organize our video better. So for this video, I like the idea, title and thumbnail. So I'm gonna select all of these tags. Now also you can come up here and click add note and jot down the inspiration that came to you when you initially saw this video so you can remember it later. So I might just put something like this and then hit save video. And now that video will be added to our saved video folder so we can come back to it later. But not every idea is gonna look like this. So before we move on to some of the more advanced stuff, let me give you a few more examples that might surprise you. Here's on here, grandma's secret to cooking tender meat. This channel has 419 subs. The video got almost 30,000 views. I could just take this and make a video like Nonna's secret to cooking the best spaghetti or grandma's secret to cooking the best steak ever. Really versatile, interesting formula here. So let's save this and then quickly look for one more example before moving on. So I've scrolled down and here's something interesting I found living alone in Tokyo, grocery shopping, home cooking, snowy nights, life in Japan. 20,000 subscribers, 500 
160,000 views. I could do a video like living alone in Sydney, life in Australia. I'm definitely gonna save this. But a quick note, because people always get confused here. I don't have to copy exactly what's in these videos. Depending on the type of channel you have, I could create an ASMR related video. I could turn it into like a challenge related video. I could turn it into a vlog day in the life type of video. The actual content of the video doesn't matter so much. What we're just trying to find here is the viral packaging. So when we create whatever video it is that we wanna create, we can just put this packaging, this title and thumbnail on it, and it's got the best possible chance of going viral. All right, so if I was you, you can see there's just so many videos here. I would just keep going through them and finding all of the interesting examples I can. And then we're gonna do some cool stuff for them to figure out which ones are the most likely to go viral. But before we do that, something I wanna to touch on. When you're scrolling through all these examples in your niche, try to look for patterns. Here, we've got cooking a delicious crocodile. Here, we've got cooking geese, giant looking fish, grilled eel, cooking a whole ostrich. Here, we've got cooking with Coca-Cola. So one pattern I've noticed is cooking something crazy, something unique. Another trend I've noticed is this sort of like village life, bare bones cooking type videos seem to do really well. Another trend I've noticed is volume seems to get a lot of views. So like, look at this, they intentionally make the dish look massive. All these turkeys, they make them look giant. So these patterns, one, unique and novel foods, two, extreme amounts of the food that you're cooking, and like three, traditional sort of bare bones cooking. A lot of the viral video ideas we have here encompass one or multiple of these trends I just mentioned. And so if you can use your knowledge of these trends and create a video that encompasses all of them. And your chances of that video blowing up if you execute it properly are like astronomically high. Now, once I've gone through all of my umbrella terms and saved all of my video inspiration, what I sometimes like to do is just come and click random. Now, this is just gonna give me a random list of video ideas, but sometimes you can be inspired by random videos that have nothing to do with the type of content you create and those videos can do really well. So let me show you some examples. So here's one that's kind of interesting, 729,000 views with only 50K subs. And this might seem completely unrelated to cooking, but it's how to remove oxidation on a boat. Maybe you could create a video just like this, but have it be like how to remove that like weird brown stuff on the bottom of all your pots and pans, except swap out weird brown stuff for what it actually is called. So I would save this and I might just say this is the idea. And with that last video idea, I'm going to move on to the next phase in this method. But for you watching this right now, you should be spending hours doing everything I just showed you to find a large bank of proven idea formats that could work for your niche. So what I'm gonna do now is stop researching, go to saved video ideas, and we're gonna go to my cooking channel example. And this is where all the videos we've been saving got sent, plus a bunch of additional examples I recorded off screen so as not to bore you to death. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna turn on my idea tag. So let's just turn off this, and now it's gonna only show me videos that I've tagged with idea. And what I'm gonna do here now is flesh out this list and get even more ideas, because the more ideas we have, the more likely it is we're gonna find some magic that's gonna blow us up. And yes, this is going to take time. This will take you hours, but trust me, spending hours doing this is gonna be better than spending hours creating videos that don't get views. So the first thing you can do is we're gonna go through all of our top videos. We're gonna click on these three dots and go view similar videos. And as you can see, this is gonna show us video ideas that are similar to the ones we've just found. And you're gonna do the same thing I just showed you earlier. You're gonna go through all these ideas, find the best ones and save them. And I'm not gonna do this all with you now because this would be extremely boring, but basically you'd wanna go and do exactly what I showed you, but to all of the videos in your saved folder. Go through all of them, go view similar videos, scroll through the similar videos that pop up and save any new ideas you find. Now, once you do that, to get even more ideas, now go through this list of videos and click on each and every one. So for example, this one, click on it and we go to this channel. We're gonna go to videos of this channel and let's just go most popular. We're gonna look for other videos that might be related to the one we just found that also might be good inspiration for us. This one's interesting. The Secret of Soft Liver, a chef from China taught me how to tenderize liver. We could do a video like this, right? That's like the secret of amazing lasagna. And what happens if you've installed the video Chrome extension, you'll see this button pop up next to the video, you can just click it and save this video to Velio directly within YouTube. And again, I'm not gonna do all of this right now, but if I was doing this research properly, I would go through every single video in my save video folder, go to the channel associated with that video, find any other outlier ideas, and then save them to my save video folder as well. And after doing all that, we'll finally have a full bank of viral proven video ideas that we can now use to do the fun stuff, to uncover the diamonds in the rough that can blow up any small channel. So what we now need to do is figure out which of these have too much competition for us to compete. Cause we're a small channel. And even if some of these ideas are really great, if a bunch of people have already made those types of videos, then ours is not gonna get promoted. So if I take this video, for example, eight kitchen life hacks, let's go ahead and search this on YouTube. Let's just type in kitchen life hacks, right? It looks like if we're scrolling through here, right? There are quite a few 
different kitchen life hack videos. All of them with millions of views, all of them from very big channels. So what that's telling me is even though this video idea seems amazing, it's probably too late for us to create this. So what I'm looking for are concepts or ideas that very closely model a proven viral formula here, but that very few people have created it or done it well. So let's skip this one and look at another video. So now let's take a look at this video, right? If we go to YouTube and we put in, it's so delicious that I cook it almost every day. And instead of chicken leg dinner, in a pan, we could do like chicken drumstick dinner in a pan. So we're just swapping out the variable. So it seems like there's only one video here that is catering to chicken drumsticks that's big. Actually, there's two because there's this one here. But both of these videos in their thumbnails, they show uncooked chicken drumsticks, which aren't very mouthwatering compared to look at our example video that shows up here, right? So I'd be willing to bet if we created a it's so delicious, I cook it almost every day chicken drumstick dinner video. And instead of showing uncooked chicken drumsticks, we showed something that looked more like this. That has a high chance of doing well. And so now you're just gonna go through your list of videos, research how competitive each of the ideas is, and just get rid of any ideas that have too much competition for a small channel like you to compete. But we're not done yet, because even when you find an idea in here that has very low competition, we still need to check one more thing. Because there are two reasons usually why a video will blow up and go viral quickly. One is because it has an inherently interesting idea, which is what we're kind of going over now. But the second reason they go viral is this. See, I posted a video a long time ago. It was a Star Wars Battlefront funny moments video themed around Donald Trump. That video blew up and was one of my most viewed videos at the time for a small gaming channel. Now let's say you're a Minecraft creator and you're looking for inspiration. You might see my Star Wars Battlefront Donald Trump themed funny moments video and be like, wow, I should do a Donald Trump themed Minecraft funny moments video. But if you did that, there's a high chance that video would not perform very well because it's not that Donald Trump themed funny moments videos are such inherently interesting and good video ideas. It's just that I posted that video on November 18th. And if we look at Google Trends, and I'll show you how to use this tool in a sec, if you come to November 2016, you can see that Donald Trump was at his peak popularity at that moment. So my video just rode the trend that was Donald Trump. If you tried a Donald Trump themed video, and posted it down here, it probably wouldn't get very good results. And so the last step we're gonna do is check all of our videos for trends to make sure that the videos went viral, not because they jumped on a trend, but instead because they actually are inherently interesting video ideas. So this video right here, for instance, is, is a pretty easy one. Super easy, crispy oatmeal cookies. So I'm just gonna go to Google Trends and I'm gonna type in oatmeal cookies, hit search. And then I'm gonna go to here and go from Australia to worldwide. I'm gonna change from past day to 2004 to present. And what we can see here is really interesting. It looks like every December, there is a spike in interest for oatmeal cookies. Now let's take a look and see when this video was posted. If I come to this video, go see more. It was posted on January 2nd, 2021. Look at this. If I go to January, 2021, you can see that oatmeal cookies are trending at this time, right? They're not quite at the peak of their posting. So if this video had posted in December, it probably would have done better. But look, it was quite high. And this is really useful information for us because if I was to now go and create an oatmeal cookie related video here, you can see oatmeal cookies aren't trending right now. And so my video probably wouldn't do well, even if I modeled this format, just because the market's not interested at this point. So let's skip this one and look at another video. So let's take this video, for example, we found earlier, living alone in Tokyo. Now, if we break this down to the key variables, it looks like Japan and Tokyo are two big ones. Like, yes, this video is about grocery shopping and home cooking, but those things revolve around Tokyo and Japan. So if I come to Google Trends, I'm gonna enter Tokyo here and select that. And also I'm gonna come here and just enter Japan. Now this video was posted on the 18th of February. So if we have a look at February on our graph here, what you can see is there isn't any particular trend going on. Like it's kind of all just relatively flat. And that's actually a really good sign because what it suggests to us is this video got almost 600,000 views from a 20,000 subscriber channel in five months not because Tokyo and Japan suddenly became extremely popular, but it was successful purely because this video idea in and of itself is inherently interesting. Meaning if we can capture the essence of this idea with our living alone in Sydney variation, chances are we could have a viral video on our hands too. So I personally would look at this idea as one of the most promising ones we've investigated so far. But we've been over a lot, so let's go over a real world example of how this can actually look. So a while back, I was doing research just like I've shown you here, and 
I came across this video. I bought 1000 fake YouTube subscribers experiment. And I thought, hmm, this is really interesting. After doing some of the research I've just shown you, it seemed to be an idea that just blew up because it was inherently interesting. And so I made that video, I posted it on my channel and it blew up. It got over a million views in 90 days, as you can see here. And that's how powerful Velio and the method I've just shown you is. Now, before tools like Velio, I used to do all of this manually, basically by scrolling YouTube for hours, manually logging any outlier videos I found and their numbers in a spreadsheet and doing all the stuff I just showed you. And that can work. It just obviously takes a lot of time, which is why I built Velio. But regardless of whether you get Velio or do this manually with a spreadsheet, I want you to promise me something. I've shown you a bunch of examples that prove this method works. But just like any strategy in life, nothing has a 100% success rate. But what I promise you is that if you do this boring stuff consistently, eventually you will stumble on an idea that will blow up. It might be a fifth, 10th video, but when that video gets hundreds of thousands of views, it will make up for all of your failed past videos. And literally just one big video on YouTube can completely change your life. So get out there, do this consistently, don't give up. And if you do want to give Velio a try, normally it's $25 a month, but because this is the first time I've actually talked about this and launched it publicly, you can use the code launch at checkout to get it for a full month for just $1. Also, everyone who signs up to Velio within seven days of this video watching right now being posted will also get access to my viral video swipe file valued at 99 bucks which basically has a bunch of proven ideas that can apply to almost any niche that I personally have pre-vetted. You can just take, do your competitor and trend research for your niche, and then just implement them immediately if the signals look good. So link will be below. Use code launch to sign up for value for just $1 and you'll get my viral video swipe file. But if for some reason you're not ready for that, I have another video on the screen where I'll walk you through a different way to find viral video ideas, which focuses more on keyword research rather than the method I just showed you. Laters.